More about the impact from last month's twin earthquakes near Ridgecrest. Yeah, some of the first researchers to arrive on the scene were from UCLA's engineering program. Now they are talking tonight about what it was like mm -hmm. being there at the time of the earthquakes. Kick it on Jasmine Veal with more. This team of scientists and researchers from Southern California, including UCLA, spent a week documenting the damage. I mean, look at these photos they took of the cracked earth across highways, broken sidewalks, and homes tilted from these strong jolts. At 10.30 a.m. on July 4th, a 6.4 magnitude quake struck. That's when UCLA professor Jonathan Stewart's team headed out, making the 150-mile journey north into Kern County. As they follow quakes all over the world, they were there when the even bigger quake hit near Ridgecrest the following day, a 7.1 just after 8 p.m. And almost knocked him over. He says they found most of the damage on the Naval Air Weapons Station China Lake and describes what it was like to go through something like that. I saw electrical lines arcing and sending off sparks near our hotel. I saw people uh, running out of the building um, and, and obviously panicked and very upset. It was truly extraordinary from this earthquake. We had rupture both from the initial July 4th earthquake and then a separate rupture on July 5th, uh, the first being about 10 kilometers, the second being about 50 in length. He says these quakes occurred on two different faults and they will use this data they gather to build models to see how the ground reacts in future quakes and get a better sense of the nature of the ruptures. Damage is in the billions and as repairs continue, so do the aftershocks. Just last week, we reported that a 5.0 magnitude quake struck near Ridgecrest. No doubt rattling nerves all over again and keeping these scientists very busy. I'm Jasmine Veal, KCAL 9 News.